Hello fellow YouTubers, just thought I'd give you a quick video here, the latest addition to my shack. Uh, this is 2E0 DQQ here. Um, it's the 1st of May 2016 and literally uh, picked up um, the Yesu um, VHF UHF all mode tribander. It's the FT726R as you can see here. Uh, I've been after one of these for quite a while simply because I'm big into 2 meter SSB work and by the way uh, you can see all of these games under here they're just propping it up at the front here at the moment just a uh, little CD key CD boxes here as you can see um, I've been after one of these for quite a while because um, I had one of these many years ago and I haven't come across a multi uh, mode base station radio primarily for 2 meters and 70 centimeters that has as good a receiver as the 726 or its big brother the 736. I've had a 736 as well but I actually preferred the 726. It's a really really simple radio to use um, and I picked this up at a very reasonable price uh, from, a, from a guy on ham radio deals here in, um, in the UK. I've been really really surprised at actually how good the receiver is on this radio. It really is very very good. But what's really cool about this radio is that um, here in the UK it's almost impossible to get on uh, any repeater without having CTCSS on the um, on the radio. So I recently picked up one of the PIX CTCSS boards and it's a really really cool piece of kit because it literally uh, slots in to the little panel that was up here originally for the tone burst board. Or the burst or they, they, whatever they call it, it was a burst board or the tone burst board or whatever. But this is gives me CTCSS access, and as you can see, to change anything on it, all I do is just go up on the up and down, and I've got the different tone bursts that I can use here, and I really like that. It's really really easy to use, and it gives you full CTCS functionality. Um, the radio itself was in very good condition. It's got a couple of age related marks, which is, you know, little scratches and stuff like that. But the functionality on the radio, it really is, it's top notch. And by the way, if you're wondering what that is in the background, that's my Kenwood TS990 here listening on 80 meters at the moment. And I've got, got it doubled up here on the screen, which is, which is quite nice. But anyway, back to the 726R here. So the 726R, really very simple to use, excellent uh, receiver. Um, one of the nice things I like about this, as I said, is that as you go down through the various bands here, let's see if we can hear anybody. There we are. That's a repeater that's over in um, in Cardiff, which is, I suppose, it's about 25 miles as the crow flies here uh, from the house. But I can access some of the other repeaters that I was never able to get into. On, um, on the older radio, or on some of the newer radios that I had, I did have um, a Yesu FT8900, little uh, 2 meter, 77, um, 6 meter radio, sorry, and, and 10 meter radio. Um, but I was never able to access some of the repeaters that I can access on this. And the amazing thing about this radio is it's only got a maximum output of 10 watts. Okay, um, nice display on the front. You can see the buttons are a little bit worn. On the front of it here but I don't really mind that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take these out and give them a good clean as well and maybe um, maybe kind of uh, replace some of the paint that's on there as well and just really kind of clean it up over the next couple of days so I will post a, a follow-up video to this in a few weeks time uh, when I've cleaned it up but a very very nice radio to use um, you can see here you've got all of your repeater options here so you can have you can set your own repeater as well so you can see here I can set I can I can do the the, the offset here uh, because some of the repeaters here in the UK have an offset of 7.6 plus for um, for 70 centimeters um, and then if you go to the normal repeater settings which are here that will give you a minus shift of 600 as in here in the UK but you can you can set the repeater shift to whatever you want really it's got memories in here as well as you can see it's got a bank of uh, nine of uh, ten memories however I've had to uh, I've had to uh, replace the lithium battery that was in there because it was uh, it was very uh, it was very old so I've changed that now so I know I only have ten memories but that's all I really need anyway I primarily bought this radio really for two meter um, SSB work because uh, I have a little two meter amp 
it's a little 40 watt um, amplifier as well but a built in preamp and that seems to work very very well indeed okay but if any of you kind of come across one of these radios I would grab it with both hands because um, I've done some comparison tests on the receiver on this radio with some of the more modern rigs and the 726R puts them to shame it really does especially on 2 meter SSB hope this has been of interest uh, please leave a comment thank you